Lalit Patidar, who was 13 years old, was born in India with a rare genetic condition called hypertrichosis that causes an abnormal amount of hair growth over his body. The syndrome is caused by genetic mutations on chromosome 17 and is also referred to as werewolf syndrome, which I personally don't like due to its negative scary connotation. Lalit indeed suffered from bullying and was often called a monkey. Some also believe he is the reincarnation of the Hindu god Hanuman. Lalit says that although sometimes he wishes he was like other children, he is now used to his condition and is usually comfortable with the way he is. This is due to his school friends who like and respect him. Lalit's condition, due to the excess of hair, sometimes causes him difficulties in breathing, eating, and sight. No cure is available for hypertrichosis. Lalit wishes that when he grows old, he will undergo a surgery that will make him look like anyone else. He adds that no one would bully him, that he wants to be friends with everyone, and that they shouldn't hesitate to play with him. In the future, Lalit says that he wants to earn money as an honest policeman and look after his family and friends because they did a lot in protecting and defending him. Mark from Germany spends the majority of his time drinking excessive amounts of water. Approximately 20 liters, which is 13 times the amount of water for a normal person. He also goes to the bathroom approximately 18 times a day, which is almost every 1 hour and 20 minutes, even during sleep time. Mark reports that he can only stay 1 hour and a half without drinking water, and that could cause him to feel intense thirst, his lips would go dry, he would start to get fever, feel dizzy, and have memory issues. No, Mark is not inventing all this to become famous. He actually suffers from a rare disease called nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. This is caused by an improper response of the kidney to ADH, which is the hormone responsible for water retention, leading to an excessive thirst and urination. Other types of diabetes insipidus exist and have the same symptoms. The number of new cases each year is 3 in 100,000. In Mark's case, this rare disease is genetic and hereditary, and there is no cure for it. He needs to keep drinking excessive amounts of water to survive. Let's play a game about Rosemary Bentley's anatomy. I name an organ, and you guess left or right side of her body. Ready? The normal stomach is on the left side. Which side is her stomach? Wrong! The normal liver is on the right side. Which side is her liver? Also wrong! The normal spleen is on the left side. Hers was... Correct! The normal appendix is on the left side. Hers was... Okay, you got the idea! Last one. The normal heart is on the left side. Hers was... Nope, it was on the left side also. This was a trick question. In a nutshell, almost all her organs were on the wrong side except for her heart. But not only. Her right lung had only two lobes instead of three, the right atrium of her heart was twice the normal size, her stomach protrudes through her diaphragm, her superior vena cava vein was unusually long, her liver veins were directly connected to her heart, her digestive system was mirrored... Okay, enough. Doctors say she's one in 50 million. Mary, from Oregon, US, has a condition called Cetus Inversus with Levocardia. Only 5% to 13% live past the age of 5. She lived 99 years. No one would have known about it if she didn't donate her body to science, and now she is famous. Donate people. Imagine that any fall or injury would cause your body to turn to bone. This is the story of Zoe and Lucy, 26, from the UK, who suffer from an ultra-rare disease called fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva that causes damaged soft tissue to regrow as bone. It affects 1 in 2 million and only 800 people in the world have it. After they were diagnosed with this genetic condition as kids, they had to be careful and were not allowed to ride bikes, roller skate, or take PE lessons to avoid injuries. And yet, 
Unfortunately, Zoe fell off the sofa and broke her elbow. Also, she fell off a scooter and broke her leg. And Lucy tripped over at school and hurt the back of her neck. You call this being careful? As a result, Zoe can't straighten her leg and her arm, and Lucy is unable to raise her arms, because the joints turned to bone. Despite their condition, both girls found love and their husbands are very supportive and helpful. Because there is 50% chance to pass on this genetic condition to children, the twin sisters reported that they will definitely consider adoption. As they grow old, their condition worsens and many parts of their bodies are already stone-like. And though there is no available cure for this condition, the twins are undergoing a clinical trial in London for a new promising drug that might help their condition. In the meanwhile, they try to stay positive and support each other. You wanna become famous? You don't care what other people think? You're an auto-medication enthusiast? You're the perfect candidate to become blue. This applies also to Paul Carrison who, after seeing a TV ad, bought a collodial silver generator and decided to start drinking 10 ounces every day just because, why not? Because you thought it was going to do what for you? I had no idea. Paul reports that he was drinking it with a friend to treat his friend's petroleum poisoning and noticed that it cured his acid reflex, so he continued. Also, he started using it directly on his skin because he decided that it's good for his dermatitis. The result? An irreversible gray, blue, purple color that he seemed to like. If you could change back to the way you were, would you do it? I'm not sure. Really? Really. So what the hell happened to him? Paul suffered from a condition called Argyria, caused by excessive exposure to silver, which is not life-threatening, but is considered to be cosmetically undesirable. The silver is absorbed by the body cells and when exposed to light, gives this permanent blue color. Collodial silver was actually used for centuries to fight infections, but the use decreased when antibiotics were invented. The FDA banned it in 1999 because it caused Argyria. Despite his unusual color, Paul had two supportive wives throughout his life. He's quite the guy despite the fact that he's blue. <laughs> but also suffered discrimination. We're rather reluctant to hire blue people or people that are noticeably different. He passed away in 2013 from an unrelated heart attack. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and share. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and find the links to our Facebook and Instagram in the description below. To get notified of our new videos, please hit the bell. For more, click on one of these videos.